Uh, this is uh, Robert Chan. Uh, we are right here at the KL Minnelli uh, 2017. So it's the first ever in the world uh, for, for, for Kuala Lumpur. So I'm here with two distinguished guests. One is Waira Marzuki. Marzuki. is a former director of the National Art Gallery. And she can tell her history. And that's Juta. He's one of the one of his uh, first pi uh, pioneer students, uh, not students, artists that the uh, National Art Gallery promoted, of which I'm so now promoting him. So here I'd like to go back a bit of history, very short history of how, what's your background is now? Well, the National Gallery, as was mentioned earlier, is open in 1958, just one year after the Malaysian independence. So right then, it was in a small place, although it was the former Parliament of Malaysia then on Jalan Ampang. So and then it was turned to the National Gallery plus other other offices. So it's very important. That obviously, after one year of independence, it's important to promote culture and, and art. Yes, it's really important indeed because yes. being one year of independence from yes. from Great Britain, here we are having our own National Gallery. Although it's small, for a National Gallery or Museum, yes. it's not just the building. It's not just the building. It's what you represent. Yeah, it's the collection, it's the people, so it's the communication that matters. So right then we have been there and it's just 1,000 square meter in size. Very small. Very small. So we have to close in between exhibition and there were only three staff at that time. You were I, one, of the one, of the, one of the first staff. So, but it was great because then there was this Art school, all earlier it was uh, in a few divisions, uh, art school. There's art schools, universities opening where they are having faculty of art. So the beginning of artists, blossoming of artists at large for Malaysia. So being in the National Gallery for 1,000 square meter is very challenging. You have to put in a storeroom, you have to put in office space, you have to put in between exhibition, closing event, opening event. So with this is great that you're telling us some stories we, which we don't get to hear. We only hear all the all the uh, normal stories, but we want to hear all this the early struggle days and also how you promote Jutta as one of the artists. So when we were there in 1987, there was this opportunity for the National Gallery to move into a larger building, which was then the Majestic Hotel. Ah. The Majestic Hotel. So we moved from uh, Jalan Ampang to the Majestic Hotel. Majestic Hotel was big. It was about 5,000 square meter, which is three times four. Much bigger. Much bigger. But you see, Majestic Hotel is a uh, historical venue for hotels, whereby many of the levels were rooms, hotel rooms. So again, having for exhibition is always a problem. Yeah, because you, you cannot, you cannot uh, change things and you, you can't partition things. So uh, it has its problems. And it's a heritage building where by the heritage regulation you, I mean there's a lot of domes to destroy yeah, the facade. Yeah. But whatever it is, we're there about 10 years. We have a ground floor which quite an open space. We have a bigger storeroom. So only problem is the rooms that you divide yeah. into. So we cannot have a big exhibition and plan. And you move to the third place. And, and the last this place. is the place. So, so in in the development of the arts and with the structure of the ministries, then so they feel the country feel that National Gallery is big enough to move into because there's more universities. The UITM University Technology Mara was the first art school, and lecturers were trained abroad, coming back with back, ideas, back, back, back back ideas, so big canvas, like a buzzing time. And there's a University Science Pro Pinang, you have an art academy. So there's more challenging for the country that we have to house collections, yeah, the art collection, the art activity, the artists. So that's how important. So it was very quite challenging for you to make it more than to, to, to be to, to, to uh, encompass so many divisions now. It is challenging, interesting, whereby um, because the artist begins to demand the space, demand yes. their rights. And I was here, I mean, I've seen three venues, I mean, from Jalan Ampang to 
uh, Majestic Hotel and to the last venue. It, it's, so this is about um, 12,000 square meter then. Spiral sale. Spiral sale, because spiral because maybe we like this open space. And it was a privatized venture in terms that the land is government land. So the, the, the ministry at that time uh, engaged the YTL who got the contract the to, to build this building at uh, whatever it is in contrast with the majestic land. Ah, so that's the beginning of this. So basically this YTL's construction. And, you know. okay. and, so uh, when, the, and when you had the first uh, exhibition, uh, what year? First one, I think we moved here in 1998. 98. That was when the Commonwealth Games the was games on there. Yeah. yeah, so uh, it was one, one, the space is always there. There has, I mean, I have to count the number of galleries because I've left this place. It's nine, in 1920. Uh, Beautiful, it's got five, three levels. 20. Uh, what's the structure like three levels? Uh, four with the ground. ground. Uh, yeah. So, but it's a uh, angular building, so on the third floor, it's smaller dimension. Okay, and this, is, uh, this area is very circular area. Because people can actually walk up spiral, they can hear a bit of echo. Yes. Um, but uh, art is always new, a, a new thing, yeah. modern, challenging, vision, ideas. So Let's talk about artists and, and uh, how do you then promote the art? Artists, when we started in Jalan Apang, there's only three staff, and then we moved to the National, the Magic Hotel, yes. there were about 30 staff, so it grew, and now there's 100 or over staff. But um, artists, uh, we have also, because it's a national institution, we have to realize the needs of the artists. Not many artists are all educated with university yes, yes, yes. with carrying papers, diplomas, and, and that, that jobs of the national art and yeah, artists. Yeah. I, I mean, it's accepted, by the, but one that is by the level of the road, by road front. So we have to think that not many able to get work or was able to get education in the arts, understanding the visual logics, in understanding the theory of arts, the history of arts, the beginning of arts, the structure. structure. And also in Malaysia then, also the story of the early arts, the cave painting, are not being dealt with. Yeah, there's many historical cave painting. Yeah, yeah. Cave so paintings cave paintings. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's interesting. Yeah. I really wish that some of this fallen yeah. wall painting would preserve yeah. here for yeah. goods. It yes. will be. That's. I mean, that's making things yeah. very alive yes. for Malaysia. Let me let me go to the artist here. It's Juta here. Uh, Hi. Yeah. So you, you, How? you have your beginnings, and can you talk about the uh, well? She 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 came to the gallery in 1973. I came into the gallery. She was in 1974. A year after. Yeah, just yeah, a year after. And uh, she was one of the three artists who basically brought me into the art world really? in child so education. You kind of owe her. Yeah. And she has been there ever since from 1973. And uh, there's something very strange here. Yes. She has been in the gallery from Jalan Ampang. And then when she moved to the Majestic Hotel, and I was the first artist to win the Young Contemporary there. Yes. Okay. You're the first artist to win the Young Contemporary, yes. In, in what year? In Hotel Majestic. Oh, you won it during that time. Uh, what year was that? Uh, 1984. Mm. And from there, I'm here now. Can you tell about the work that she does? Uh, anything you can... Any... Uh... Basically, if she's not here, I won't be here. <laughs> bless! God bless! So, uh, uh, obviously, she, you, uh, she's you, uh, Juta is one of the first that you promoted. Is there any others that you... I'm sure there are many others. Uh, uh, well, we call him Taga, Tagaraju Raju. Yeah, yeah uh, we well... Now, we now brand him as Juta. <laughs> so, uh, Raju was or is still unique 
and his self thought. Hmm? So, and I used to, I need lots of assistance at times. So he used to assist me running children art classes on every Saturday. Yes, I mean he. I mean we begin the art classes together. He thought the art classes training young children from five years old because at that time there's no specific syllabus for yeah, art education. Yeah. So, so this, this yeah, so pioneering, pioneering, art. yeah, and to make it interesting because the art education, oh, there's art in the school, there's art in the university, but some of these KL children Saturday, Sunday do nothing. So every Saturday, Raju will help me to organize children at yeah. centers. And from there, it grew recently in during 1920s. We have special art for the children. I mean, children with special, we don't want to call disabilities, yeah, but children with, cha with challenge. So we have art for all, disability for all the children. I mean, we include the in to be inclusive. So we have activity art for all that is magical, which I mean, we have now in line with Thailand for art for the special needs. So the KL Benelli, uh, you feel this is a major milestone, major achievement? It's, uh, I should say so, but, uh, as a National Gallery will be 60 years old next year. 60 years old, Diamond Jubilee. Uh, uh, 60 years old, right? Um, I'm 60 uh, also. 60. So I mean, from so 19, uh, 19, 1957, 58. Three days after independence. Oh, so 58. So next year we will be 60 years of age, and this is ever the first time. Uh, it's wonderful to have because Benale have their own language. Yes, uh, yeah, they their own jargon. And in the country as separate, and it's the. Um, Plus, it has its own language, you know, and it means two years once so the country has to comply more the ministry or the national gallery to comply. What do you see your, your vision for future? Uh, I, I know you're retired, but I'm sure you have your your vision that you hope that this will be carried out in the national art gallery on the, on the art scene. Um, Any vision? Yes, it's. Um, should be carried as being promised earlier in the opening speech and it's a good time to because we are in line